Prince William was livid with Prince Harry over Netflix deal, incredibly uncomfortable. Prince William was left livid with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle after they signed a deal with Netflix, according to an insider. Meghan announced this week that she is creating a new animated series for Netflix called Pearl. Actual Productions, the company formed by Harry and Meghan, said in a statement that the program will center on the adventures of a 12-year-old girl who is inspired by a variety of influential women from history. The series will be produced by Meghan, and she said in a statement that she is thrilled that Archul Productions will bring you this new animated series, which celebrates extraordinary women throughout history. The announcement comes after the Sussexes struck a deal with Netflix after they quit their royal duties and moved to California last year. As part of their deal with the streaming giant, the couple planned to make documentaries, docuseries, feature films, scripted shows and children's programming. But the deal appeared to anger Prince William, as claimed by a TV insider. It comes following the portrayal of the royal family in The Crown on Netflix. The insider said, William and other senior royals are incredibly uncomfortable about this drama and livid Harry is now in partnership with the company that's airing it. It's the latest in a long line of flashpoints between the brothers, but there are few more sensitive subjects than the plight of their mother. Viewers of The Crown, which is a candid look at the Queen's reign, wouldn't expect the writers to ignore something which is now a matter of public record. They added in an interview with The Sun, but the royal family also wouldn't expect one of their own to take money made by the profits of shows like this. Amid claims the royal family was uncomfortable with some of the portrayals in the series, a spokesman for Left Bank Pictures, which makes the crown for Netflix, responded. They said, producers worked closely with the eating disorder charity, Beat, to ensure that their portrayal of Princess Diana's bulimia in season 4 was both accurate to the disorder and sensitively handled. Harry and Meghan's Netflix deal came as an indication that they are hoping to live an independent life, making their own money in the process. Following the announcement, the Sussexes made a statement, saying they wanted to make powerful family content. They said, Our lives, both independent of each other, and as a couple have allowed us to understand the power of the human spirit, of courage, resilience, and the need for connection. Through our work with diverse communities and their environments, to shining a light on people and causes around the world, our focus will be on creating content that informs but also gives hope. As new parents, making inspirational family programming is also important to us, as is powerful storytelling through a truthful and relatable lens. Prince William has been privately comforting England players who were targeted with racist abuse following the Euro 2020 final. The Duke of Cambridge went into the dressing room at Wembley to commiserate with the team, and has since been in touch with Bukayo Osaka, Marcus Rashford, and Jadon Sancho. The Royal, who was at the final with wife Kate and son George, previously said he's sickened at the disgusting trolls who targeted the footballers after their penalty misses. The Duke of Cambridge, who serves as president of the FA, tweeted, I am sickened by the racist abuse aimed at England players after last night's match. It is totally unacceptable that players have to endure this abhorrent behavior. It must stop now and all those involved should be held accountable. W, and since the racist abuse unfurled, a source told the Mail on Sunday that William has been speaking with the Football Association about how pressure can be put on social media firms to do more to tackle the issue. A Palace source said that William's focus has been on supporting the players and there had been private conversations. The Prince was seen punching the air at the final, before the evening ended with tears for England after a mighty fight against Italy. After the loss, racist morons began attacking three of the team's black players with monkey emojis and vile abuse. Boris Johnson is among those to condemn the sick jibes.